Hey guys, I'm Jost von Land from YourDino.com and today I'm going to show you our new YourDino standard instrument unit. And it's this thing here, looks very familiar to many of you. This is the one we sell many hundreds of every year to people who want to upgrade their Dino data acquisition system. But there is now a new version, version 5, that takes over from version 4. It has a few new nice features and I'll show them all to you now. So here we have two load cell inputs to read the torque of the brakes and they are 16 bit, 1000 Hz, so really accurate and really fast. There is one thermocouple input, this is to read temperatures, for example of the exhaust uh, gas temperature. 16, hertz, uh, 16 bit and 1000 Hz as well on that channel. And the same on the aux channels. Aux channels are used to read a 0 to 5 volt signal can be anything, for example uh, lambda or a map or a temperature. And new in this version 5 is that there is an internal pull-up that you can enable with a jumper. And if you do that, you can hook up a thermistor directly. So thermistors are used to measure temperatures, for example oil temperature, water temperature. Here is the Yordino thermistor and you hook it up just like this. Very simple. So there is no power here, huh? It's just a signal and the zero volt because there is a pull up inside. Very simple. Okay, then we have two digital inputs. So they are used to read, for example, a frequency signal. It could be that you are measuring flow with a flow meter. They have typically a, a frequency based signal and uh, it can also be a different RPM input that you want to read or it could also be a digital on-off signal. Just hook it up to one of these digital inputs here. Now there are more channels on the other side. So there are some RPM inputs here. RPM1 and RPM2, they are typically used to measure the brake RPM uh, for the two brakes that you can have, or maybe you just have a roller or just one brake, then in that case you want to use RPM1. In addition to that, the new in the version 5 is an inductive RPM pickup input to read directly the engine RPM. Now to use that you need one of these. Uh, you just uh, hook it up over the primary of the coil to directly read the engine RPM. Now that is used uh, in situations where you need to uh, calculate the gear ratio, which you do need for example for uh, chassis dynos and hub dynos. So then uh, this is one way to, get, uh, to, to calculate the gear ratio. Many other ways too. You can for example use the TACO or OBD2 but some of you like to have uh, a pickup uh, and that's now uh, supported. Here we have two outputs. So this is uh, to control two brakes, two eddy current brakes or two analog brakes, two servos or one stepper motor. Then here, the new of this version as well, is that there is an external environmental sensor or weather station, as some of you call it. It's uh, this thing here, so that has 3 meter cable and uh, hooks, hooks in directly like this. And of course this is, makes it much easier to place the sensor wherever you like, closer to the engine intake. As well, if you have the box inside a cabinet, it's uh, now possible to measure the temperature in the room. The sensor itself is a small little thing. It's just this little thing here. That's a, a sensor from Bosch and it gives you temperature, humidity and pressure. And with that we can compensate for these, um, for these environmental conditions. Now the final uh, connection is this one. It now has built-in canvas. Now this is very nice. If you use aftermarket ECUs, you connect directly to the ECU. You are able to read all the channels that the ECU has directly into the dyno. It's still possible, like it was in the, in the previous version, to use an, a USB to canvas adapter. But of course, much nicer to have it uh, included in the box itself. So let's take a look under the hood. So there is a box here that I have removed the screws and we can take the lid off. And uh, so this is how it looks inside. Not really that much to see. All the magic really happens here. This uh, little chip here uh, is the CPU. It's a 32-bit CPU, 300 megahertz, so it's super powerful. 
And it also, in, in addition to the CPU, it includes A to D converter, PWN generators, timers, a lot of stuff inside this chip. So compare, you know, the the cabinet of electronics that you may have in your old dyno. <laughs> a lot of it happens now inside here. Now the data sheet for this uh, this chip here is 2,000 pages long, so it's very very complicated. And of course, there is a lot of software that's uh, been downloaded into this chip to make it do exactly what we want it to do. Okay, apart from this uh, CPU, uh, there is some canvas components, some uh, other uh, amplifiers, a few stuff around the power supply, there is protection from ESD and things like that. Uh, there is also this, uh, the resistors, the pull-up resistors I talked about, that's those, those ones here that you can enable or disable. Uh, here you set the outputs to be analog or digital and then there is a button here that you can press and this is in case you have done a firmware download that has for some reason failed something crashed then you can press the button here and then you are back in the bootloader and you can download the firmware again so that's that's good so that's the presentation of the new Yordino standard version 5 I hope you like it, and of course, coupled with the box is the software, the Yordano software. You are free to download it off our website, install it, browse around, take a look. Together, uh, the box and the software make a very nice upgrade package for lots of dinos out there. Hope you like it. Thank you.